This is really awesome. <laughs> show us a little bit what this is. Tell us what this is. We wanted to create a, a promotional marketing object to, to kind of communicate. So that's ES Etude de Style, your initials. Yeah, the two letters of our logo. Experts who never throw the sponge in, never throw the towel in. It's such a joke, it's a, you know, you have to kind of surprise and uh, amuse, as opposed to being so conservative. So we like to communicate with uh, funky objects that, that make people laugh. You guys have a website, right? Etude-style.com is your website. It hasn't been updated. Uh, <laughs> So it's kind of a, a mini portfolio with a few illustrations of uh, products that we've built, designed for uh, Basel 2010, and a few draft uh, drawings of how we got there. What do you think about trends? Uh, what's coming down the pike in horology? What do you think the future is bringing us in the watch world? Technically, design-wise, uh, either. I think both things are coming up. Uh, what's really important uh, are new materials being used. Manufacturing and uh, methods are new, as well as research behind it. So this influences design, of course. Now, aesthetically speaking, in design, there are many ways you can go. You can't say anymore, next year all watches will be one way or another. You have classical watches, uh, then uh, some much more aggressive types of products. You know, like the Yublo Bing Bang. They exist for a long time, of course, but there's various product categories. What happened uh, with the crisis? Some manufacturers have really focused on brand history, like Marvin, uh, for example. It's true that uh, in 2006, 7 and 8, uh, it went in all directions. There were some interesting things done, but also some things I found less interesting. And then with new brands as well. A lot of people wanted to do watches, uh, not necessarily in understanding the market very well. And, and what it takes to to follow up. So I'm not in sales, and uh, so it's not my expertise. But we work for these people, with these people, so you get an idea of what's going on. And this year was a lot more calm, uh, more relaxed. Less, uh, less funky types of pieces. Often people ask me about case sizes. Will they get back to human sizes? Uh, you have up to 50 mils now. Uh, some people say, well, we're going to go smaller. No, we're going to stay. 
Yeah, there's been a demand uh, desire to come back to regular sizes, 40-44. But uh, big pieces will uh, will be there, but uh, it's they're more like talking pieces. It's not uh, it's really representative. There are many trends. Uh, I have a, an, an idea. Uh, I kind of know what's going on. That's part of our added value that we bring to the table. So you have to wait and see. Sebastian, I want to thank you so much uh, for taking the time. And having given us all this insight uh, about your work, and thank you so much. Good.